Hi and hello to a new season of the Lappy Aesthetic Makeup Collection called Me, Spring Summer 2021. My name is Steffen Zoll, international makeup artist for Lappy Aesthetic Paris. I'll guide you through the steps to achieve the strong and feminine look of the Me, Spring Summer 2021 collection. I follow all hygiene guidelines. The products are fresh, out of the box, never used before. Remember, stay current with your hygiene guidelines. They are important. Covered, velvety looking skin is the critical backdrop to this bold eye artistry. First things first. Start with the prep and prime skin routine, the essential step one in the art of makeup. Next, with a sponge, gently push the glow base over the entire face. Make sure you infuse the entire surface and blend the glow base into the neckline. This results in a wonderful shimmering base that will illuminate the foundation yet to come. Select the Turn Naturel to match the skin tone. Use your fingers to cover the face. Why? The advantage of using your fingers to apply foundation is that your fingers give you control over areas that need more or less coverage, like blemishes, redness or other skin irregularities. These techniques ensure the foundation is both flawless with a featherweight finish. If you prefer a more bare finish, mix in a small amount of a light moisturizer into the Turn Naturel before you apply it. If you're happy with the coverage, use some turn correcteur or as a softer alternative like cover and light and brighten up the under eye. Use your fingertip or a small brush, your choice. Tip, some makeup artists prefer to brighten up the under eye after a dark eye makeup is completed. Why? Eyeshadow particles might fall down during the application, particularly on the under eye. These particles are more easily and efficiently cleaned before applying the concealer. It's time to set your products. Choose a silky mineral powder that matches and blends with the foundation color. A light dusting is enough to achieve flawless, semi matte looking skin. Use a large powder brush to lightly create a uniform veil over the face. Rotating motions ensure even results. For the hard to reach areas like nostrils or the under eye, use a small eyeshadow brush. On to the eyes. Prepare your eye makeup with the automatic pencil for eyes in anthracite by first darkening the waterline. Then draw a slightly thicker line around the eye, paying special attention to the spaces between the lashes as well as the eye corners. This frame should be complete without gaps between the lashes and include full coverage of the eye corners. Use a fine brush to further blend in the gaps between the lashes. Using the same automatic pencil for eyes in anthracite, place a few strokes on the upper eyelid. With your fingers or a brush, blend them into the skin. This base supports the metallic shimmer of the eyeshadow. The waterproof feature of the automatic pencil for eyes contributes to a longer lasting and stable appearance. Moving forward, pick up some magic shadow in graphite directly from its case by lightly rotating your fingertips over it. Then tap it onto the entire eyelid. This enables you to push the shadow onto the skin and prevents powder particles sprinkling the under eye. With a blender brush number 13, spread the color onto the entire eyelid, including inner and outer eye corner, blending it upwards over the grease. Stay within the natural structure of the eye socket. Tip. You can place a tissue on the under eye during this application to make sure it stays clean. With a leftover eyeshadow on a blender brush number 13, create a shadow on the under eye. If you wish stronger color saturation, repeat the steps by applying a bit more eyeshadow. 
open the silky eye in couple rows, place some of the product onto a clean spatula and tip in a clean eyeshadow brush. Apply that color to the inner eye corner and from there spread the color using the same brush and light hand toward the center of the upper and then of the lower eyelid. Don't worry about blending too much. The metallic pigments do that for you by themselves. This mix of colors is exciting. With a mascara perfect volume in black, coat the upper and lower lashes generously. Give them a proper look by organizing them with a spiral tool. If lashes need a lift, use a clean eyelash curler after mascara has dried completely. That opens the eye. A lighter eyebrow works nicely with this intense eye makeup. To define but also lighten the eyebrows, choose a tinted eyebrow gel in a lighter color than the natural brows. With a wand, first brush in the product against hair growth and then in direction of hair growth, avoiding the underlying skin. This wonderful product not only coats the hair of the brows with color, it also fixes them in place. If there are any gaps or for a longer ending of the brow, draw some hairs using a fine brush with the same product. Time to focus on the lips. The light and shimmering color of the sensual lipstick in Sunrise matches beautifully with the magic shadow in Graphite. With a lip brush, take on some of that sunrise color and apply it to the entire lip. If you want to set a lip contour, you can use the automatic pencil for lips in LL32 Rosewood. Do you want to enhance the orange hue of that lip color? In that case, use the automatic pencil for lips in LL35 Poppy Orange. To keep this look balanced, apply the tender blush in soft orange using the feminine blush technique. With a blush brush number two, feather some color onto the cheekbones, extending it upwards in a C shape to the temples. In case you prefer a cooler toned blush, please feel free to use tender blush in Passion Rose, an excellent choice. The look carries both colors very well. For some highlights, give the upper cheekbone, the center of the forehead and the ridge of the nose and the tip of the chin a hint of the highlighter tree in either gold or rosé. This grey metallic eye makeup look is bold and deep. It reflects the strong and defined voice of a woman who knows where to look and how. It speaks of being secure and courageous. To complete the boldness of the look, select Brilliant Nail in Candy, a deserving companion to the grey metallic eye makeup allure. Apply twice and let it dry thoroughly. So, and if you're into going all the way, here are the steps to make it happen. Use Blender Brush number 13 to take on more color of the Magic Shadow in Graphite. Apply from the crease up to the eyebrow. Leave it softer under the high arc of the brow and stronger on the inside and outside of the eye. Also apply some extra color on the lower eyelid from inner to outer corner of the eye and darken the waterline with the automatic pencil for eyes in black. Add additional silky eye in couple rows with the eyeshadow brush. This time, put on the center of the eyelid as well. Don't blend it too much, just tap it on the lid with your brush. Check that your mascara is still intact, if not, reapply some. Sensual lipstick in Bitter Orange is a very daring and fun choice for this strong eye makeup. Apply using a lip brush and frame the lips with the automatic pencil for lips LL35 Poppy Orange. As for the other looks as well, this makeup application technique can be done with other color combinations from the Labiosthetic makeup collection. I hope you liked what you saw and I inspired you to try out this look on one of your clients or 
yourself. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. This was Steffen Zoll for La Bioesthetik Paris. Goodbye.